Einstein recognised that there were some areas of conflict between Newton's theory of gravity and his own special theory of relativity. Uh, he needed to find a fix, and I guess the analogy here is that Einstein uh, managed to fit a square peg into a round hole by both modifying the peg and the hole. He really looked at the universe in a completely different way. And this session is all about trying to help you understand how his ideas came to light to do with general relativity. So, first things first, let's get some ideas straight. What effect does mass have? Well, um, with gravity, it's the tendency of massive bodies to attract each other. And that follows uh, Newton's uh, universal uh, law of gravitational attraction. And then we also have inertia. Inertia is basically the resistance of a body against the changes of its current state of motion. And that relates to F equals MA. Now, gravitational mass and inertial mass are not necessarily the same thing. Although we tend to use the same values here all the time, uh, there's not a reason why these two numbers should be the same. Uh, the principle of equivalence looks at the idea and considers these things um, are the same. Okay. So if that's the case, then they both equal a force. Then what should happen is uh, the acceleration should be equal to the ratio of mass of gravity divided by mass of inertia uh, times by the gravitational constant, uh, the mass of, an, of the other object divided by r squared. Okay. So uh, that's if these two things are equivalent. Now, uh, Einstein states that no experiment can be performed that could distinguish between a uniform gravitational field and an equivalent uniform acceleration. Uh, this always is given as the example is if you were on, in a lift where you couldn't see outside. Now, would there be any experiment which would allow you to recognize or distinguish if you were A, had a gravitational force uh, pulling you downwards as an, on Earth, or were you in fact accelerating in space? Again, is um, how could you tell the difference? That's the thing here. How could they tell the difference? And is there a certain equivalence? Now, from these two kind of general ideas, uh, Einstein was able to start to bring things together. And he's thought about uh, light. If a rocket is undergoing a constant acceleration and a flash of light is shown on one side of the rocket ship towards the other side, the light will hit the opposite side of the ship at the same height of the window. Okay, so that means that uh, what happens here is it would appear uh, uh, that the light is bending. Okay, It would appear as if the light was bending because it wouldn't hit the uh, completely opposite side. Now, uh, what we've got here is if the light leaves point A, traveling at a speed of light in a purely horizontal direction, when it reaches the overall wall, if it's not the same height, then here, again, we've got to, we're not sure if what's happening. Uh, is this due to gravity or is this due to acceleration? So what we're really saying here is that uh, the equivalence, principle of equivalence with light uh, will also bend in a gravitational field. Think about what we're saying here. What we're saying is that if something takes place in a gravitational field, then the same equivalent feature will happen in an accelerated frame of reference and vice versa. So therefore this states that if we have an accelerating uh, old frame of reference, light would apparently bend, but the same thing should happen in, under a gravitational field as well. So this is the theory of equivalence. Now, there's a few other things that take place here. Okay. First of all, time slows down in a strong gravitational field, and that's because clocks undergoing acceleration will run slow compared to non-accelerating clocks. Okay. This is related to some of the ideas of special relativity, but notice we're talking about accelerating frames of reference here, so it becomes much, much more complicated. Uh, we also recognize that the greater the gravitational field, the greater the time dilation, 
the same as the greater the acceleration, the time dilation will be the same, will be increased. Uh, as it happens, this becomes an extension of special relativity. With special relativity, we thought we uh, stated that we could see time dilation due to speeds approaching that of the speed of light. For general relativity, we have a similar Lorentz function. So there's a function we can calculate, but this is now dependent on the gravitational force of an object of a certain mass and the radius between the center of gravity and uh, the point which you are at. So in both these situations, gravitational time dilation will take place. General relativity is due to a gravitational force being present. And this all comes from the realization that there must be an equivalence between a gravitational force uh, situation and uh, an accelerated uh, frame of reference. So that's my quick introduction into equivalence principle and the general theory of relativity.